I've been looking for a holster for my Canik TP9SFX and uh, was actually considering reaching out to Harry's Holsters when they reached out to me and uh, this is what we have. I have not opened it yet but we're going to do an opening, I guess an unbagging of sorts and uh, put it all together here on Rider's Range. Stick around. <laughs> All right, the TP9 SFX Blackout Edition uh, came with a holster that you can switch around from inside the waistband to outside the waistband. Um, decent little holster, uh, yeah, not nice idea to have it included with the gun, but not quite what I was looking for. So I was really surprised when Harry's holsters reached out to Riders Range to say, would I be interested in trying one out? And if so, what would I like? So uh, I did mention that I was looking for one for my Canik and I was considering the Contender model. And uh, they sent me this whole package here. So we got the Contender holster in here, at least that's what it says on the tag. And uh, also got a paddle for it, got an X-lock mount for it, and we got a turbo prop. Uh, we'll uh, talk about each one of these uh, individually. So uh, I did take it out of the original package they sent it in, but I haven't even opened the bag yet. So let's do our unofficial unbagging here. Thanks for dropping by Rider's Range and uh, enjoying another uh, video with us. Uh, it does come with ah, uh, comes with thread locker too. All right and it comes with instructions so there's the uh, the basic holster and again I wanted one for range work uh, it's not a uh, concealed carry holster by any means but I've heard good things about Harry's holster so I'm anxious to give it a try this one is dedicated right hand it's not switchable to the the left hand as you can see by the mounts and let's see how the TP9 SFX fits right in fits like a glove actually this is my first experience with Harry's holsters, but I like the way it fits. Uh, it just clears the extended mag release on the gun. Um, it does clear the slide stop lever very nicely. It is cut for optics, obviously. And nice, solid fit. Very impressed. All right, so far, that's just initially. All right, we're going to put it together here. Uh, we'll put it together while the camera is rolling, but I'm probably going to have to speed things up a little bit. Um, so uh, it, uh, it won't take forever to do this. I'm not going to put the Loctite on it just yet. I'm going to uh, try the uh, X-Lock paddle. And Oh, by the way, this does come very nicely fitted in the bag here. Let's so get it out. And does come with everything else I need to put on it, uh, including, it looks like, uh, adjustment for the different width of uh, belt and we're gonna figure out how all this works put them in like that there we go okay so and it does it actually has one in it right now it does come with another one depending on the width of the belt that you want to put in it I am going to use my core essentials garrison belt we just did a review on this one I'll uh, put a link up here to the review on this core essentials belt and this is a one and three quarter inch belt and that's already set right there at one and three quarters inches and again if I want to go narrower uh, and adjust the the ride height I can do so with the uh, uh, with that other uh, device that goes in there to change your your width all right it's gonna work really nice on this core essentials garrison belt so there's four holes on the back of the holster and actually more than that if I all the way up to here so I can adjust the ride height so it's a uh, quite a drop and less of a drop and actually a, a high ride um, if I want to cant it it looks like I'm gonna have to go into the uh, upper holes and I do want a slight cant on it looks like I really can't line up the holes for a, uh, a full uh, speed can't. So we're going to play with this just a little bit. We're going to let the camera roll and uh, and just zip through this. Put some uh, um, stock music in the background uh, so you won't be quite as bored. You can all fast forward our, our speed if you need to. And let's see where we end up with this. I may just do a straight drop for now. Mm -hmm. 
All right, three screws in to hold the uh, uh, X lock belt uh, device on here. And you can see these are really well recessed away from the gun body in there, so there's nothing that's going to scratch it. Inside of this holster is finished very nice, by the way. And even the outside, I, I think is one complaint I had about uh, uh, another holster. Um, not too long ago uh, that uh, had rough it and I won't say rough edges but somewhat sharp edges these are very nicely finished on this Harry's holster and this is about the same price as that other one that just wasn't finished as nicely um, I'd say the finish work on this is is very very nice nice uh, smooth kydex on the inside very nicely molded to the gun uh, as we showed earlier perfect fit but I'm really impressed with a they did take the time just to put a, a just a very slight rounding on the edge which I haven't I haven't seen on uh, um, holsters priced uh, in the same price bracket as this. Um, very nice. I like the way that fits. All right. The other thing we're going to put on is going to be the turbo prop. Now this allows the uh, uh, quick changing of the tension in the uh, in the holster. So let's see how that works here. And according to this, uh, it doesn't say which one it goes on. I'm presuming it goes on the top screw mount here. Here is the turbo prop. It's got a washer on it. Now the washer goes on the screw part, not on the um, turbo prop side. Again, the directions on this do show that uh, you got the, the screw, the washer, then the holster, then the rubber grommet, then the other piece of the holster, and uh, the turbo prop on top. And there now it's easily adjustable in the field and that's nice and snug right there that is not going to fall out of there and I can back that off or a nice easy draw still not going to fall out although I can I can shake it out when this is backed up backed off so that allows for quick in the field tension adjustment and uh, this will allow for good placement on the uh, one and three quarter inch core essentials garrison belt and we're going to give it a field trial and then we'll come back and wrap up this video we're also going to give it a try with the the paddle on it uh, instead of the uh, the x-lock we'll try it both ways now the paddle just barely fits a one and three quarter inch. It looks like it would more comfortably fit, uh, particularly when it's inside the trousers, more comfortably fit a one and a half inch belt. So uh, may not take it out of the field with a one and three quarter. Now if I use just the belt, it does fit very securely on this one and three quarter inch uh, garrison belt from Core Essentials. Uh, so if I didn't, if I tucked it down inside the belt, but not inside the trousers, that would work really well. We have to give that a try in the field also. All right, so the paddle goes on a little different. It just gives you two different levels of adjustment up here in the top two slots. All right, and there's the paddle. It's going to be nice and solid. Again, it's just, just going to fit on that uh, Core Essentials Garrison belt. So we may try it both ways out there in the field, and uh, we will report back. Right, we spent some time on the range with the Harry's Holster Contender for our Canik TP9 SFX and uh, we used both the uh, X-Lock as well as the uh, paddle on it and found that the paddle actually seems to work best for us. Now I managed to put this in with a, a little forward cant which is nice for uh, just a little bit faster draw, uh, theoretically anyway. Um, so we tried it in a bunch of different configurations, and uh, this is what we settled for, the uh, uh, actual best way to uh, be able to carry this particular uh, gun in the Contender holster. The uh, X-Lock uh, was fine with our garrison belt. Only problem with that, of course, is the position of the um, belt loops on your uh, whatever trousers you're wearing with it. Some of my jeans uh, have the uh, belt loop right at 3 o'clock and with the X-Lock there's no way to get a, an actual 3 o'clock draw position with it uh, so I had to either position the holster right in front or right behind the uh, the belt loop or not use the belt loop. That would be great with uh, um, a uh, competition type belt where you're actually wearing one belt over another. It doesn't work so well when you're only using just a single belt. 
with the paddle though it uh, it works very very well so we also tried the uh, the paddle with a core essentials garrison belt the one and three quarter inch wide belt and that belt just barely fits in the opening here so uh, we ended up trying it uh, outside of the trousers and of course then we still get into the same belt loop position uh, issue with it um, then we went to our uh, one and a half inch belt and uh, did the paddle on the inside just like we were supposed to and then trying to take it off this thing really really grips tight um, this we spent a, a fair amount of time on the range and this thing did not move at all using the the paddle so that's the way we're going to carry it and um, I'm really 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 happy with this holster again that I mentioned before the uh, the finish on this the the fact that uh, there's no sharpness at all on, on any of these edges they're very nicely rounded uh, for the the money you can't beat it and speaking of money the, the holster itself uh, for this the uh, contender is um, about $68 a few cents shy of that the uh, the paddle itself is another 10 um, 13 for the uh, the x-lock add another 10 or so for the uh, the turbo prop or just 9.99 and by the way this makes a huge difference uh, if I knew I was going to be moving around a lot of the range I could just give this a couple of turns tighten it down if I'm getting ready to, to uh, start running the plates I can back it off so I can get a quick draw uh, what a difference on it really really did uh, make a lot of use out of it and it was just secure as could be with our TP9 SFX so uh, I'm probably going to end up getting another one of these for another gun that I carry on the range quite a bit. So that's the uh, the Harry's holster contender. Again, I want to thank Harry's for sending this to me. Um, I think that as soon as I get done filming this, I'm going to probably get on the internet and uh, order another one myself at uh, on, uh, <laughs> at my cost, and that's fine. Um, do like it and if you like this video we do appreciate a thumbs up uh, if you uh, haven't already done so please subscribe click on the notifications bell so that you know what's coming up the next riders range video and we're still trying to grow the channel so please share this uh, video uh, through whatever platform you can uh, comments are also appreciated down below that helps the uh, algorithm um, at uh, YouTube to get us a little bit uh, higher up in the, the the search results and comments on anything else please send them to info at ridersrange.com so the Harry's holster contender outside the waistband more of a competition type holster with the X-Lock and with the uh, the paddle and the turbo prop is a great range holster uh, and again I can't thank Harry's enough for sending this to me Thanks for stopping by Rider's Range.